hey there, little hey, chick chick. What am I? You look good too with that deer meat. Mm. Uh-oh, somebody's gonna need some brake pads. <laughs> Well, I'll take care of that for him while I get it to park. Uh, right down in here, you got these torch bolts right here. I'm going to put some uh, PB blaster on it. And uh, that's what holds the bearings in on this uh, truck. I forgot to tell y'all, this is a 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 four-wheel drive. And this is what I'm going to be placing the U-joints right here on this uh, drive axle on the front of it. So uh, we're going to soak these in real good and uh, sometimes them kind of hard coming out. But I'm going to just show you all that. Alright, what I'm using here on this uh, Torx uh, boat, uh, I don't have a uh, actual Torx socket for that particular size. So what I'm using is a 9 16 12 point socket and it goes on this Torx boat real fine. And I'm just going to use a half inch full handle. And Break these are loose and hopefully I don't have no trouble getting them broke. Sometimes these are frozen in here and the uh, head of this boat will strip off. So uh, looks like we're going to be in good shape today. All right, you got them out. They real good condition. They wasn't frozen in there. So I'm happy, happy, happy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, the next thing we're going to be uh, taking this bear and hub assembly out right here. What you do, you can take your uh, chisel and a hammer and you kind of put it in between there and hit it and then work it from side to side and work this bearing out. Or you can take a slide hammer. I got a slide hammer and this is going to be an easier way of doing it. And uh, just uh, all you're going to do, and I can tell you already, I put the slide hammer on and this bear, just the weight of the slide hammer just actually. Uh, the bearing shifted on so it's, it's not going to be no problem at all getting this bearing out. But I'm going to show you for uh, demonstration reasons uh, how you do it. Just take your slide hammer. Make sure you don't get your hand back here in the way. It'll get you. And just kind of pull out like this. See how easy? It just it popped right out. A lot of times these may be rust in there. And you really got to snatch it uh, really hard. But uh, this one right here is uh, in good condition. So we didn't have no problem uh, taking it out. So what you're gonna do is just pull it straight out and you'll see this uh, front axle coming out right here. And uh, that's all it is to it. So uh, I'll be back in a little while and show you how to take this huge one out. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, press the huge joint out. And what I got here is a C-clamp uh, ball joint press remover installer tool. You can get these uh, at uh, like parts stores or tool warehouses. And also you can uh, rent these from your local parts store. And uh, if you don't already have one, you can use hand tools. If you got a uh, air tank and air tools, this is going to be an easier way of doing it. So I'm going to show you how you're going to do you just uh, go ahead and start pressing this uh, first cap out here. Alright. Just back this off.
All right, now we're ready to press the caps out of this uh, side of the U-joint. See all them needle bearings that falls out, that's fine because you, you're going to be putting new ones on so that don't make no difference. Alright, we got this U joint out. So we're ready to put the new one in. Alright, the next step is to make sure you got the right U joint. Just take your old cap and take a uh, micrometer. This is a mechanical micrometer. And uh, I've got a digital, but my battery's down. But all you're going to do, you're just going to set it up to zero and uh, place your cap in there and get your reading. And uh, just take your new one. And these two are the same, so you just want to make sure you got the same uh, caps on your U joint. Now, if you don't have a micrometer, what you can do is take an adjustable wrench, and uh, same thing, just basically adjust that adjustable wrench around that cap until it's barely touching. Then take that new U joint and see if it slide over it in the same. You don't want no, if you know if it's too big, then of course it won't go in there too small. You're going to have a lot of uh, play in it. So that's just a quick way uh, checking your uh, you joint to make sure you got the right one. Just a little tip there. All right, ready to put a U-joint in. And uh, what you want to do, you're going to take the caps off the two sides. Be careful. You got needle bears in here. The, the grease is holding in place, but you want to make sure that those stay in place and not fall out. Now you're going to do just take that U joint place in your uh, yoke here and take your cap and push it through U joint through and go ahead and get one of your caps there started Alright, what you're going to do is uh, put one cap on, press it in. You don't have to use a press. Uh, you can use a hammer and knock them in. I, you know, I just prefer using a press. Most people use a hammer. But uh, once you get this one pressed in, what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and put that clip on. Now I can do just hold it up there and take a hammer. And pop right in. Then on this other side here, take your bearing cap, make sure your needles is still in position. And just, uh, what you do, you can pull this U-joint in like this. And that lines it up in your needle bearings on this side. That's important because once you start pressing this cap in, whether you knock it in with a hammer or press, if you don't pull this up, you can crimp them bearings in there, needle bearings and break them. So always pull this up like that to make sure that you're uh, getting a good start here in this cap. All right, next thing you'll do is you want to put this yoke back in with the other yoke and just take your caps off and slide that in there like that and get one of your bearing caps 
Stick it in and get it started. We'll do the same thing, so we'll press this bearing cap in far enough, get the clip on, and then we'll take this other bearing cap and press it on there. All right, go ahead and put my clip on there and position it where I want it. See what I did? I drive it on through further in. allows this uh, U-joint to come out on the other side. An important reason for that is so you can get this bearing cap like on the other one there started. Make sure your needle bearings don't get uh, in a bind. So what you're going to do, you just take it and shift this uh, U-joint all the way in to the inside of this yoke so this U-joint sticks out far enough to get this bearing cut on their starter. Just like that right there. Now you're ready to press it on in until this clip right here is flush on this side of the yoke and you put your other clip here in. I'm going to show y'all a little bit closer here, these clips right here, in case uh, the lighting probably wasn't that good. Right here, this little groove on the U-joint, all you're doing is just dropping that clip right in that little slot right there. Pushing in, and it snaps right into place there. I just want to show that to you there. Get a little bit closer uh, view there on that little clip right there. Alright y'all, well, I got this U-joint on this side, and uh, ready to put it back in. I've already put my shaft in the other side and uh, on my band right here I put a little anti-seize that keeps it from corroding and rusting in the future. Uh, I didn't have no kind of problem on either side taking it apart so I was fortunate with that. But uh, the reason why I haven't put the U-joints in was my brother just purchased his truck and the uh, U-joints were worn, clacking, making all kind of noise. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. And the part we use today is a move Super strength, part number 377. So uh, that's supposed to be a lot better than the original equipment uh, U joint. But uh, this gives you some idea, you know, how to put U joints in if you've never done it before or thought about doing it. Uh, this is just the way I do it. Uh, there's different ways you can do it. You can use a two before or four before pose, taking a hammer, striking the yoke right here, knocking them out, and putting them back in. That's not the way I like doing it. My preferred method is where I showed you using a seat clamp out of a ball joint press kit. Uh, so maybe, you know, you learned something today from maybe watching you do this. Uh, maybe uh, you got questions, uh, just leave your comments down below. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And uh, as always, my family's yours. Y'all have a blessed day, friends. See y'all later. Bye-bye.